Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we got a new Indigo Disc DLC trailer revealing a ton of new information about the second part of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. We're going to be breaking everything down today and going over everything that you missed. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new, ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we have the trailer to go over and then also all of the new information on the website as well. I know there was no Pokemon reveals today, which was really, really unfortunate, and I'm still so, like, flabbergasted that we didn't get any new Pokemon. Like, I thought for sure we were going to see, like, Paradox Entei, Paradox Terrakion, maybe Diplin's Evolution, but we got absolutely nothing. We did get new gameplay features, though, and stuff like that, which is pretty cool, but either way, we're going to be breaking down all of the new information. So, obviously, the trailer was four minutes long, which, going into it, I thought was going to be, like, insane, because I thought there was going to be loads and loads of new information um so obviously at the start it's just like kind of going to area zero and stuff we do get some new like gameplay um shots of area zero but of course we've already been to this part because that is where you go into to, to get into like the time machine in the office and stuff like that uh we do have this tree here though which is very very interesting this probably is going to be related to terrapagos in some way shape or form um but uh yeah we'll obviously find out more about that when we go to uh to area zero but uh it's going to be really really interesting what uh what this actually entails so and then we, we the next part of the trailer is just kind of going to the teal mask don't really know why anyway we then come over to serrano who basically is the person that's going to be taking us to the blueberry academy here he is saying are you all ready to kick off your studies abroad so that is how we actually venture to the blueberry academy we go and meet him and he takes us to the uh to the blueberry academy we have a little totodile here we also have mincino over here in the corner um i don't know if that was already confirmed to be returning obviously they've all been date mined anyway um but yeah, Minchino and Chinchino are also back in the uh, Indigo Disc DLC. I love Totodile though, just chilling on the table. Big fan of that. Um, next up, we have us just kind of talking to Drayton there. We then have Carmine here. So this is a Carmine battle, and she actually has a two cannon and a mighty. And remember, everything is pretty much a double battle in the Indigo Disc DLC. Really annoyed that we're using a Diplin there, though, and that's not the evolution. I know it's just. I know they've done that on purpose, but it is annoying. But yeah, they've got the two cannon and the mighty under there for Carmine. So that's the battle there. Next up, we have um, we actually have some new Pokemon in Area Zero as well. We do have uh, it is up on the next screen, I believe. Obviously, we have the Alolan Ninetales and Vulpix. We know we can find the alternate form of Pokemon in the Blueberry Academy. This is in Area Zero, though. Uh, you can see from like the crystallized. Um, things and stuff like that i love the electric webs on like the the kind of ceiling and the the corners and stuff looks really cool because obviously galvantula and joltic are here so they are confirmed to be returning but um they are also going to be found in area zero so not every returning pokemon i think is going to be in the blueberry academy some are going to be in area zero there are new locations in area zero as well hence why there are uh new pokemon it kind of makes sense that we're going to see like galvantula and stuff as well because obviously it's a the, the spiders at like like these really dark places and stuff like that so we have those returning uh, obviously galarian slowpoke returning as well we know that you as i say you can catch the alternate forms and stuff like that we have this part of the trailer new clothing as well by the way this is um obviously new new clothing items um for the indigo disc i i think i like the other clothes more but um yeah we, we know that there are other clothing options that you can um, obviously get so that's that bit next up we have blueberry quests so these are the quests that are going to allow us to find the legendaries the stars pokemon stuff like that and the quests look really really good i i'm a big fan of um how they actually are implemented in this uh, game there's also multiplayer quests as well so this multiplayer quest here is um, find three ditto blocks in the savannah biome and then you get battle points for completing the quest well battle points they're blueberry points and you then you then use those blue boy, uh, blueberry points to kind of redeem different things like items and things for like your room and stuff like that um but uh i, I think they show the quest scene uh soon but yeah that's the ditto thing there obviously the different kind of uh, stances that you can do we also have this as well which is a new gameplay mechanic so with this quest you have to uh, help Sinclair out and then she allows you to then take control of your own Pokemon so very much mystery dungeon vibes here and you can actually move around with your Pokemon you can also do it in multiplayer as well so we have the different like Pikachu clones here but there is actually um, ways to all play as a Pokemon at the same time. So not expecting this at all, but it is a really, really cool feature. I'm actually really happy they've uh, implemented this. Um, and the next up, we obviously have the returning gym leaders. So these are the ones that you can obviously invite to um, your kind of room or whatever you want to call it. 
and you can then uh, battle them, you can trade with them and stuff like that. We have a Skarmory here in the background. So this is obviously how this person has designed the room. So obviously you have all these different like gym leaders and stuff in the background. You've got all the Blueberry Academy Elite 4 apart from Amiri's here. Also a Blitzel in the background there as well. We already knew that they were returning anyway, so nothing crazy there. We also have Larry and Kofu talking in this room. Like I say, you can design it however you want with these Blueberry points. We have Oddish also in the corner. I don't know if Oddish was confirmed to be returning or not, but either way it's back. Uh, we have Iono here as well. And again, this is where you trade Pokemon. So she trades over a Magnemite and they basically have this mark which gives them like the name of that trainer. So when you send out the Magnemite, Magnemite it will be like Iono's Magnemite and stuff. So we've got him sending out the uh, the Brilliant. And as you can see, it does say um, Iono's Magnemite here. So that's the kind of mark you get. Next up, we have this guy here. So this is all about the returning legendaries. There's a lot more information about this on the website and how to do it, which we're going to go over in today's video. But um, this is all to do with like finding these snacks from doing these quests. And then those snacks allow you to encounter these legendary Pokemon in Paldea. They are not in the Blueberry Academy. They're not in um, the Teal Mask. They are in Paldea. But of course, you're going to have to buy the, the DLC to be able to unlock these quests and stuff. But yeah, they're going to be all over the place. So we have Suicune, Moltres, Kubfu is in the Bamboo Forest. I'm really, really happy about because I'm really hoping it's shiny huntable. We have Rayquaza here as well. Um, so these are the 25 confirmed returning legendaries that we already know about. So obviously Kubfu, Rayquaza, the legendary birds, the legendary beasts are back. Um, the Swords of Justice are back. Latios and Latias are back. They are most likely going to be version exclusive. They always are. Um, so those return. We also have Spectria and Glacier. Hopefully they are shiny huntable as well. Um, and then we also have Ho-Oh, Lugia, Lunala, Solglow, Necrozma, Groudon, and Kyogre. Again, you've got the likes of these that are probably all going to be version exclusive. Like these might all be Scarlet and then these all might be Violet. Um, especially because of like the colorings as well. And the way they're just kind of displayed on the screen. And then they've got Necrozma in the middle. Zekrom, uh, also Reshiram, probably going to be version exclusive. We have Curum as well. Um, so those are the 25 returning legendaries. Now for the others like Calyrex and the Regis and stuff like that. No idea what the situation is with them. I don't know if they're going to be coming in seven star raids. I think that's more likely the option um, because I can't see them scrapping a ton of legendaries. Um, so hopefully they're back in seven star raids. But um, yeah, unfortunately, these are the only ones that are going to be looking likely to be static encounters that we're going to be able to shiny hunt and stuff like that. We then have the flying kind of um, quest thing from the mirrors. We already know about that from the uh, previews. Um, and then obviously this is some more kind of gameplay of the, uh, the the battles. And again, this is again how difficult these battles are going to be. So this very much looks like, uh, is it Crispin? Is going to have a sun team. Going to be having a Magmortar over here with uh, setting up the sun. And then you're going to have like Chlorophyll Executor. So it's not like you can just bring a water type to defeat the fire type. Because he's got, an, he's got a Chlorophyll Executor that's just going to like seed bomb you and stuff like that. So this is what I mean by like, they're going to be competitive teams. They're going to be sun teams, trick room teams, um, rain teams, all that stuff. So they're going to be really, really difficult, which, again, is going to make the Blueberry Academy hard to beat, which, again, is is kind of crazy because we never really struggle with Pokemon games, but we are with this. And now we've also got the official reveal of Kieran as well. He's had a little bit of a glow up, in my opinion. This is what he looks like here. Now, um, obviously, a lot of people are thinking this is him fused with Dokutaro because of, like, the hair and everything like that. Very likely could be the case, but he does look a lot different. He has these, like, snake eyes as well, um, but he is pretty much confirmed now to be the champion and this is the champion battle in the blueberry academy so really excited to see how that battle is gonna take place doesn't show any of his team or anything like that we then have the starters as well um, all of them obviously returning in the indigo disc you have to beat the quest to, to do that this is an interesting shot here though because we have a character here now a lot of people think this is, could potentially be Mela. Um, and obviously she's back in her school uniform. But it's obviously an interesting character because it just showed Gita, it just showed Briar, and now it's showing this character, and we have like a shocked expression. So gonna be interesting to see who this character is. Um, and then pretty much the rest of it is just kind of like different gameplay screenshots and stuff. We do have um, the Area Zero kind of uh, tunnel here. I think this could be the tunnel that leads us to Terrapagos. We have Koraiden here fighting. Uh, we have Maraiden and Koraiden here. Maraiden's eyes going purple. I don't know if that's happened before, but he looks kind of annoyed. We also have the floor literally cracking with this. So I don't know if this is Terrapagos like maybe turning into its final form because it literally swivels here and then these tails kind of come out and then it looks like like this could very well be an attack but for me i think it is going to be some sort of like form change 
And then we have us terrestrializing here. And then this is the nine teams terror type. So that is the trailer. This artwork slaps, by the way. It looks really good. I also think that this means that we're going to be going back to Area Zero with Kieran, Carmine, and Briar because they are the only other characters on this screen with us. And also, Briar, we have a kind of a menacing smile on her face. She is also holding the Violet or the Scarlet book. Carmine looking like really shocked. Even Kieran's looking a bit like, oh, I don't want to be here. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a really cool uh, screenshot there. And then obviously we have all the mystery gifts that have come out. So we have a lot more information to go over on the website. Like I say, there's a lot of things to go over today. We have a shiny Lucario. You can get a shiny Lucario. It's level 75, has flash cannon, aura sphere, bullet punch, and ice punch. Steel type, obviously, uh, the steel terror type. Inner focus ability. It has the cherish Pokeball as well. And if you want to redeem that, shiny buddy. Remember, I do have a Pokemon guide channel as well um, in the description down below. Whenever we get a mystery gift, I always upload it on there as well. So they'll be on that channel regardless. But um, yeah, shiny buddy is the mystery gift code for shiny Lucario. Uh, we are also getting access to a shiny dark right not shiny dark right a regular dark right should i say um so dark rise code is new moon is coming um and this is uh available until the 21st of december i think lucario is available to like the 3rd of january or something like that so snatch these up quickly um but yeah it's like a gen 4 event we're also getting raid events for Dialga and palkia tomorrow maybe tonight depending on where you're from for me it's midnight tonight and that's available to the 21st of Thursday, uh, 21st of December. So through from when the Indigo Disc is out. So we'll be streaming the raids tomorrow. We also have massive mass outbreaks happening as well. Uh, Flabebe, Kit, uh, Litwick, and Mills 3 popping up in different places. So Paldea, we've got Flabebe. Kids Calm, we've got Litwick. And the Mills 3's in Blueberry Academy. Uh, these are available tomorrow as well. And then obviously Mills 3 is available when the Indigo Disc comes out next, uh, next Thursday. We also have a Master Ball code as well. If I go to events, uh, Master Ball... Not the code, but we have the mystery gift. This is going to be available on the 14th of December. So this drops on the day the Indigo Disc drops. We don't have the code for it yet, obviously. But I'm assuming that's for like Terrapagos and stuff like that. But you are going to get a free Master Ball um, when the Indigo Disc drops. So really, really useful to grab that. Next up, let's go over some obviously new like gameplay screenshots and stuff. So this is the tree here. So this is talking about what exactly is the hidden treasure of Area Zero and what is Terrapagos' hidden power. Discover the truth with your own eyes. So we have the tunnel here. We have the 19th terror type. We've got this tree as well. So this tree is clearly related to Terrapagos there. Uh, next up, the fly power. Really, really happy to hear this. So obviously we know that we first start the fly kind of thing when we take on the elite trial by Ameris. While at first this power is believed to be just temporarily imparted, it can apparently be made permanent, allowing Coridon and Maridon to fly at any time, but only once you've made it far enough into your adventure. This confirms that you're going to be able to fly everywhere as well in Paldea, because we do have the screenshots here of Paldea. We have the desert down here. We have the uh, uh, Area Zero here. So you're going to be able to, once you beat the game, be able to fly everywhere, which is really, really useful. We just don't know how far into the game it is to, to, uh, that you obviously have to to get into to be able to fly and stuff next up synchronize um so this is the synchronized machine this is mystery dungeon obviously uh being the pokemon you basically have to help um sinclair she has a quest uh you have to get so far into the game and the, into the dlc and then you get a quest you complete the quest and then you can start doing this and you can run around you can battle you can obviously run around with your friends as well being all your favorite pokemon i don't know if it's just any pokemon or if it's just a certain amount but it looks like it could potentially be any so that's really exciting i think it'll be kind of fun just kind of slithering around as a rayquaza and stuff but uh, that's that new gameplay feature we have the legendaries here as well so this is information on how to actually acquire these legendaries so this is um during your adventures in the hidden treasure uh, you can encounter certain legendary Pokemon from throughout the series. If you find one, you'll be able to battle it and add it to your team. So in order to encounter these legendary Pokemon, first talk to Snacksworth at Blueberry Academy. If you've met certain conditions, you'll be able to get snacks from Snacksworth that let you encounter specific legendary Pokemon back in the Paldea region. So this is obviously what Ridloku was referring to with the vending machine and the snacks and stuff like that. Snacksworth will share his extensive knowledge of these legendary Pokemon with you, as well as tales of his heroic encounters with them. Why not listen to what he has to say? Note that you will be only able to meet Snacksworth after completing the main story and to receive snacks that will allow you to encounter these legendary Pokemon, you must complete Blueberry quests and report back to Snacksworth. Um, so yeah, you have to complete quests, you then go back to Snacksworth, he gives you an item, you then take that item to Paldea, and that is where you get to encounter these legendary Pokemon. So that is how the returning legendary Pokemon thing is done, and again, it is 
only like those 25 Pokemon that are available. And then also finishing things off, this is um, the, the quests and stuff. So obviously uh, you get battle points and stuff from doing these quests. A really, really cool quest. Um, I like that there's multiplayer variations and stuff. Obviously, like I say, you get blueberry points for doing them. Um, so you got like a little bit of a quest log, Pokemon silhouette and stuff that you got like find and everything like that. Um, so that's that. You can obviously, like I say, do it on multiplayer and stuff like that, which is really, really useful. And then training Pokemon, as I say, um, you just basically get the mark, uh, this partner ribbon thing, which gives the Pokemon that Pokemon person's name. So it'd be like, I own his Magnemite. And then finishing things off, throwing styles. So if you donate BP to Blue Bear Academy's baseball club, you can change how you throw your Pokeballs. There are many throwing styles to learn. Find your favorite and spice of your Pokemon battles. So that is all of the new information for the Indigo Disc uh, wrapped up into today's video. There might be a little bit more information as well to kind of go over over the next couple of days as people kind of pick apart the trailer and stuff. But that's everything I've seen um, straight off the bat. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider hitting the like button down below. Just trying to hit 500 likes. It does really help out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we covered in, today, in, in today's video. What are your thoughts on the trailer? What would you rate it out of 10? Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, peace.